is Joe from Game Central Station. I've gotten in my Waze headphones today, just came in the mail a couple of minutes ago. If you don't know about these, these are from the same people who make the Waze uh, security camera. Anyway, these are pretty cheap. They're $49.99 plus the shipping. Which ended up being, I think, about $60 bucks or so. Um, it does have uh, hybrid active noise cancellation. Uh, fatigue free fit which is basically means it has really good ear pads um, voice isolate I isolating microphones and uh, has about a 20 hour battery life um, which is pretty impressive but I'll test all these things out just to verify and it says it has Alexa built in now I'm not a big Alexa fan but you can also just use whatever voice assistant uh, if you have it tied to your phone uh, that you want to use uh, overall, I'm pretty excited about the price of this to see how it works. I like the, you know, the active noise cancellation and how that works. Uh, and also that it works kind of like the AirPod Pros where when you take off your AirPod Pros, it pauses your, your music or your show that you're watching, your video. And when you put it back in, uh, it will resume. So that's kind of a nice feature too. Um, overall, I'm pretty excited about trying this thing out and I will get back to you in the next section. All right, we're gonna take this guy out of the box and see what's inside. All right, nice little slip cover there. Here's the box. Let's see what, what it has to say here. That's just what it comes in the box. Really happy guy wearing this headphones and this is just all the different features uh, that this has all right so move that out of the way let's see if we can open this up all right so cushion cushion in the box there it's so just cardboard back here and it just kind of sits in there um, to see what's behind that little cardboard box to see what's in there. Open it up without losing it. Move the headphones off to the side real quick. It's a box. Let's take a look here. Oh, that's nice. Alright, so it has a nice little bag. Carrying bag. It has two pockets in it. And what else is in here? You know, quick start guide. And <laughs> I forgot, uh, never can say the name or uh, ways, I guess. They always send one of these whenever you buy something from them. I guess you can add it to your uh, sticker collection if you want. Kind of nice. Kind of like when you get a pair of Apple headphones or anything Apple to give you some, uh, some stickers it's unnecessary really but it's nice to have some auxiliary cable there and oh yeah USB A to USB C for charging looks like a charger ports there some sort of button and auxiliary input there if you want to use it uh, looks like the power and probably some options there but overall look at that L and R just in case you don't know which side to put it on oh and I got this little Those are all on there, kind of. They're stuck on there good. Huh. I'll take this one off off camera over here. I don't know what that's covering up because uh, it's still black, which is nice. And the labeling, the wise labeling, is is not very noticeable. 
really. You know, overall, these kind of look like a plain Jane set of headphones. Um, can extend them. Obviously, the other side's going to see that. And it looks like they fold up somehow. I don't know if that's exactly how they're supposed to go, but it kind of looks like it. Mess with it here for a second. Let's see. Well, I guess that's how you do it. So then, all of this should fit in the little bag quite nicely. There you go. Those little wise sewn in label there. Some overall nice packaging, nothing special. Um, but at least it takes care of it in shipping. All right, guys, got the headphones here. Um, gonna try, you know, try them on. Uh, the cushions feel really nice, um, really almost like silk, smooth. Um, and the, I guess it's like memory foam or regular foam <laughs> in there. Uh, so it feels really nice. Uh, it also feels like the hinges here are metal. Um, so I don't think those, you know, are gonna be easily broken at least. Uh, looks like it has some microphones up here for noise cancellation, potentially. Um, so anyway, let's see, throw these suckers on. They fit very well. The adjusting, the adjusting it <laughs> here isn't so bad. Um, it feels really comfy uh, on my head. So now I just gotta try to hook it up to something. Now. I look, I'm looking at the details on the website and a couple of things that stand out um, let me see here is it has dual Bluetooth device connection which is very nice uh, you know I'm gonna plan to be using these for work and personal use so I can listen to um, you know uh, some of my music also you know have it hooked up to my computer so I can hear any notifications from work uh, so that'll be nice uh, the auto pause thing, like I was saying a little bit before, it's nice. You take the headphones off and it just pauses your your music and potentially even your shows. I'm going to test that and see. Um, also, the, another thing that kind of stood out was the quick charge. So you can plug it in. It should quick charge 10 minutes. will give you four hours. Um, so that's, that's really nice. That'll get you through the last bit of a day if for some reason you forgot to charge. Um, the night before or whatever so there are specs um, that I can read to you but you can go to the website too but some notable ones again it, you know the weight is not that much it's 9.9 .9 ounces um, regular Bluetooth range but it's Bluetooth 5.0 um, which will give you you know a better throughput um, let's see here now the frequent re frequency response is 20 to 20,000 uh, Hertz so it's a sampling rate of uh, 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, let's see. Now you get a better frequency response when you have it plugged in uh, through the auxiliary cable. Um, oh wait, there it is, <laughs> right next to my. So if you plug these headphones in with the cable itself, that's going to make it a lot, uh, make it sound uh, better. So that'll go from 20 to 38,000 uh, hertz, which is quite a big bump, actually. Um, charging time is around two hours from what the website says, you know, for a full charge. Um, and for anybody who's interested, it's lithium ion, ion rechargeable battery. You know, it has six total microphones, which is kind of crazy. There's, there's, there's four for the active noise cancellation to kind of deaden the sound outside of, you know, your headphones, and then two microphones for voice pickup. Um, so you'll get, you know, pretty good sound, apparently. Again, I haven't got to the point of testing this yet, 
uh, frequency response on the voice microphones is 5200 or at uh, 10,000 kilohertz um, and it's omnidirectional microphone which is nice um, what else we got here so it says it has a touchpad I guess I didn't realize this but a touchpad double tap to activate the voice assistant or mute and unmute and calls cover to enable quick conversation mode guess we'll try that out and see what that does um, so I'm gonna go on and try to hook this up to something and come back and give you a little bit more feedback all right guys uh, got the headphones turned on followed the quick start guide <laughs> as best I could and um, sorry you're gonna hear my kids in the background and stuff that's just kind of how it is COVID times and all so I had to download the Waze app and I had to install or well, I had to add the headphones to the Waze app and right now I'm doing a update on them it says it could take up to 30 minutes it didn't take that long uh, but it kind of interrupted the initial um, I guess walkthrough of how to use the headphones but as soon as I put them on I could hear a vast difference uh, for the noise cancellation it actually just did something uh, with an noise cancellation so looks like it just got done and it reconnected I'm on version 2.1.105 you can say okay let's see what's new let's see what they fixed please stand by that's not fun anyway we'll just do done and okay so it skipped the walkthrough which is kind of disappointing but it was showing me some stuff like covering this so if I do this it it basically uh, turns off noise cancellation does transparency mode while I have my hand on it as soon as I let go it goes back into a uh, noise cancellation mode can hear everything outside the headphones can't hear anything outside the headphones now so that's kind of nice um, You can change the different types of noise cancellation. So we have private, low noise cancellation. I haven't even done this next one. Okay, and then this, this just sounds like I don't have my headphones on. So that's kind of nice. Let's see what else we can do up here. I'm gonna turn it back. I have a mini split up here and I can hear the fan running but not when it's in private mode which is really nice because that that can get a little uh, I don't know I don't want to say annoying but maybe a little bit uh, so this is this is cool okay you know I wish I had a better way of showing you guys this but it has these different presets here so you know bass movie we see where I can see it too uh, voice game and custom hmm there we go let's give it custom and you can change it yourself however you however you like it let's see I'll put mine to let's see what base does so base does that so it's kind of neat I'm probably either gonna have it on Oh, let's see. It has bass, movie. I guess it doesn't have a custom one for music. Hmm. Maybe they'll add that in the future. Custom doesn't look like it does anything besides let you change uh, settings. Okay. So we're going to settings here. So I just pulled mine out of the box, turned it on, didn't charge it. Has 80% battery. We got here touch control, voice assistant, native. So I want it to use Siri. Auto power off. Oh, that's nice. Auto pause, automatically pause your content when you remove the headphones. So let's see. Automatic power off. You got 15, 30, and 60 minutes. Or just never. You always want them to be on. I'm going to say, hmm, I'm going to say 30. So it says automatically power powers off your headphones if no content is playing for the specific time okay voice assistant 
Here's your settings, native. So whatever you, you like to use. I'm gonna keep it at native. Touch controls. So here's where you can change what I was talking about, like quick conversation, turns off noise cancellation, which is, that's nice. It might look kind of weird to somebody though, like you're trying not to listen to, hey, I'm not listening to you. But that's kind of, that's neat. And then voice this, let me double tap and see. Mm, nothing, Let's try it again. There we go. Hello, Siri. All right, so that worked, that was kind of nice. Um, what are the other options? So voice assistant or do nothing for double tap. Um, and quick conversation or do nothing. Doesn't look like you can uh, you can change that for now. But you know, Wise is always updating stuff like all the time. All right, and then device information has like your Mac address, firmware version, model, and plugin version. And then Wise support. So not a whole lot. Well, not a whole lot there uh, in the options. Let me see if the battery, nope, touching the battery doesn't do anything. All right, so I'm gonna leave this on default. I'm gonna open up my favorite music app, which is SoundCloud. The only place that has uh, chiptune music, you know, constantly new chiptune music. And, you know, I really, I really appreciate that. So let's see, I'm gonna go to my favorites list, my like tracks. Uh, and there's this Tiffa theme, reimagined, with like a lot of guitar. Give you my thoughts on what this sounds like. Get into the good part. I mean, it sounds decent. Sounds decent. I'm used to using the AirPod Pros, which sound a lot bassier. Let me see, let me turn on the bass on this and then try that again. Let's see. What else I can check out here? Of course, ads are great. Waiting for those things to play. Um, I'll change it to bass. I'll try something that has uh, a little bit more rhythm, you know, deep bass in it. Here we go, let me see if this is. This one has some bass in it. Some, <laughs> some city NES and Zelda Wind Waker. Sounds pretty good. Turn it up. See if I can mess with the movie mode. Sounds okay. Voice weirdly sounds more bass driven. I don't know. They all sound pretty decent. Kind of like the default, honestly. So that sound that sounds pretty good. Let me see what it does. Okay, it cuts down the music volume substantially and turns on transparency mode. That's really nice. Now let's see what happens when I let go. Volume goes up. Uh, everything is, you know, noise cancellation is on. I can barely, I can't even really hear myself talk. <laughs> but if I do this, this is great. That's great. Now let's do the, uh, let's do the pause. Yep, it paused. 
Now let's see if it'll t resume, if it'll turn back on. Yep, yep, turn back on. Nice, nice, like that. That's a nice feature. It sounds pretty good. Um, you know, the, the one qualm I have with the AirPods, let me grab them real quick. Is their in-ear, their in-ear headphones. So, the problem with these is, is they, they, you can never get them to fit just right. And you're always fiddling with these stupid things, like always. And it, it hurts my ears after a while. I mean, I got these like nice little cushions for them and, and everything, but it still kind of just messes with your ears after a little while. I even had to get these like little wrap around hooks, which I don't even know what the heck I did with them. I mean, it's just a lot to get these AirPods to feel like they feel good in your ears. Now they sound amazing, but they're not very comfortable all the time. These feel like they'll be comfortable, but I kind of feel like my ears are going to get get a little sweaty with these in here because they don't breathe. Um, so that could be a, a negative. But overall, I mean, these sound decent. I really like the, the transparency mode thing. That's that's a neat feature um, and how it does it. Like if you need to quickly talk to somebody, uh, I wonder if it does it on the other side. Let me see, it might only. Nope, well, no, yeah, it's only on the right side. So that's nice. Um, it has a lot of range and you know, easy enough to fold up and put away. Overall, it, these are nice. I like them, especially for the, I mean, in comparison, you know, I have a little red case on my AirPods, but my AirPods are, you know, retail or 250 bucks. These are 50 bucks. Uh, if I, if I had to, you know, if you were going to go to the store and buy one of these right now, uh, I mean, I haven't had extensive listening with this, but I'd say buy this for, you know, 50, 60 bucks with, with shipping and stuff. This is, this is far better deal uh, than these are. Now, granted, these will do, um, the spiral audio, which, uh, you know, I, I watched the Mandalorian on my iPad pro it, with the spiral audio and that is something to behold. Uh, it is very good. If you can get these sealed on your ears right, um, it, they're very convenient. And, and the other thing with these is they are very convenient. You can just slip them in your pocket. These, you can slip in these in your pocket. I mean, I guess you could do this and be the cool kid. Um, <laughs> but these aren't going to be as uh, mobile as these are. So I would, I don't know. I mean, if you got to have mobility, um, you know, get these, but just have fun trying to make them feel good in your ears after, you know, an hour or so. But with these, uh, we'll see, but I think these are gonna be a, a better overall experience for for 50 bucks. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, guys, last thing I wanna show you is the headphone jack. Now I gotta use this weird, <laughs> dongle for my iPhone but we'll see what this sounds like it's supposed to increase the sound quality if you use the, uh, the cable so yep yep that sounds way better that sounds way better feels a lot uh, like more bass a little bit better clarity Now, the app doesn't seem to see the headphones because it has to be on Bluetooth. So I can't change the different types, you know, like the bass and the, the gaming settings and stuff like that for the audio. Hmm, it's a little disappointing. I guess you have to change that prior. Let me see, I'm gonna unhook it and see, oh, well, I guess I gotta do that. 
now it's not okay it automatically paired again which is nice all right just for quick quick comparison I can tell the drop off I mean it's not bad but I can I can tell the drop off So I'm going to see if I can set it. Um, to base. I'll change it to base. And then I'll hook this in. And we'll see what happens. I don't know if I can... Where's the... Okay. Where's the hook in? Let's see what happens. It says... Yeah, it said disconnected. And I don't know, it, it's... What's well, changing it now? Interesting. So I have to have the app pulled up, connected to Bluetooth. It's weird. Because it's changing it, wired. Here it says, oh, you know, I wonder if I, well, no, it's not there. I was going to say maybe I missed the, the uh, setting was there, but there's usually a little bar icon there and it's not there and it's gone. So I can't, I can't change the, the presets for the audio format that I like. So I guess you got to change it before you hook it in. That's kind of a, it seems like a software thing they could fix though. It's a little disappointing, but so let's see. I'm gonna show you if I unhook it. So I unhook both both ends, connected back. No, that works. <laughs> I guess the other thing I should try. Let's see. Is the noise cancellation transparency mode also if it'll pause? Because if it won't do all that with headphones plugged in, that's a uh, that would be disappointing. Okay, so disconnected. And now my, well, now that setting's even gone. So as soon as I plug it in, I guess you gotta have that setting up if you want to use, uh, the, if you wanna change from game and, or, well, game, movies, stuff like that. All right, so let me play. Play this, uh, does sound a lot better. Okay, that works. That still works. Let's see if the pause works. Pause does not work. Unplugged in. So you, you give up some features having the wire plugged in, but but it does sound a lot better. So that's a, that's an interesting uh, development, I guess, but most people are going to be using this wireless. So overall, not bad. I mean, again, we're talking 50 bucks and well, you know, Wise is really good about updating their uh, firmware and making things better as time goes on. Uh, I was one of the first people to get one of the Wise cameras, you know, I don't even know, five years ago six years ago and I still have that thing sitting outside under an overhang and it's, it's doing its job um, so they're not junk devices um, and they take care uh, you know they take care of you as a customer I had a wise camera that had an issue and they just sent me a new wise camera they said I could keep the old one so they're you know they're good I, I trust them um, you know like any <laughs> any you know electronic based company you trust them as much as uh, you'd like to I guess uh, saying it trying to say it nicely but these guys you know do a pretty good job so I'd highly suggest you guys consider getting a pair of these if you don't have a good set already um, or if you do as a good secondary travel set I mean th these so far are pretty nice so again thank you for watching uh, you know thank you if you subscribed and uh, you know let your friends know and have them subscribe uh, but you guys have a good uh, rest of your day and have a good Thanksgiving.